Hello and welcome to my Chow Chow vlog. In this week's episode, I will be covering KC paperwork and how to fill it in. So I thought I would start by showing you some previous KC paperwork. This is particularly important if you have previously owned a Canical Registered Dog, um, but maybe not in the last few years. So it's just getting to know the different paperwork styles. Um, so this one is from 2008. Um, I've obviously covered up any important information or personal information. Um, so this is what they used to look like, the layout of the dog, um, like that. And then on the back was how you would transfer the dog into your own ownership. So that's all pretty simple. This progressed to this form. Um, so it started off with the dog's name on the front here. Um, and then it was this kind of fold down section with the information for transferring the dog's name, all the dog's information on the front here, and then um, kind of a bit of the dog's pedigree on the back. Um, and then this was the way you could send it in. So that, that's really more likely the pedigree that you've had more recently. However, in the last few years, we've moved to this page. So it's just an A4 sheet folded in half. So the front page with the dog's information, Top of the page is how to transfer the ownership, which I will go through in a minute. The second half is the dog's details. On the back page of the papers, you can see how you can transfer the ownership a second time, i.e. if the dog is sold on, as well as the other options for the Kennel Club ownership. As you can see, there are four options here, A, B, C and D. Just to give you a quick um, rundown of these, the Breed Record Supplement is a tool mainly used by breeders. This is um, a record of all the health tests that have been done in the last quarter, any litters registered in the last quarter, um, change of ownership done in the last quarter. So as a pet owner, this probably isn't something that's particularly relevant to you. However, you may want the enhanced five generation pedigree. That is a large A3 piece of paper that has all your dog's champions and pedigrees um, all listed for you. Um, and what's particularly nice is that anything that's a champion is highlighted in red um, and non-champions are in black. So it's just quite a nice little tool to have. Um, and I, a lot of people frame them alongside posters of their puppies um, just so they've got a little record of the pedigree in a nice presented way. Um, or you can just change the dog's ownership. Um, I think it's £17 to do that and you just transfer the dog into your own name. So now we're going to transfer the ownership of our dog. So I'm going to go to this website address. I'm going to pull that up on my phone and show you how I'm doing this. So obviously agree to that. We're in the Kennel Club website's page. Change the ownership here. Click that you've read the terms and conditions. Continue on to the dog's details. Now I've got to locate your dog. So here's where you add that um, 16 number ownership code followed by the 10 number registration details. Add the collection date and continue on to owners. That's the puppy I was doing. So put a collection date in and we're going to continue to the owners. Um, you can put the microchip details in if you have them. If not, don't worry. And then you're going to add your own details here, including your address, and then click Add Owner. This is the products that you want. So the breed record supplements are mainly for breeders. You can then choose if you would like the enhanced five-generation pedigree, the regular five-generation pedigree, or you might not want any of those. So once you've chosen that, you can click Onwards. Then your communication preferences, if you wish the Kennel Club to get in touch with you, would you like the pet insurance, um, any information from you, Tricia, etc. So you just click on that once you've selected your options. And then you're in the cart. So here you would um, £17 to transfer the ownership. So click on checkout. And then you'll add your card details. And it really is as simple as that. Alternatively, you can do it 
um, slightly old fashioned way now, which would be to fill in the form, tick the boxes that you want, add your card details and have them sent off to the Kennel Club to transfer it via paper. Though I will explain that this does take a lot longer um, and I would always recommend that you send this as recorded delivery so that you know it's arrived there and um, as I do believe their admin could do with a little bit of help. So these are your new registration ownership certificate. Um, it arrives like this. Um, it'll have um, your details um, at the top here. I've covered mine up. Um, details on your dog here. That's the pedigree, like mum and dad on the front. Um, health test, sadly, I've been excluded from these papers now, um, as well as um, if you needed to transfer the ownership a second time. So lastly, I just wanted to give you another look at the two types of pedigree option that you can choose. Some puppies will come with these, the breeder will select them and have them already in your puppy pack. Others don't do that. This is a regular five generation pedigree. Um, it shows uh, all the pedigree for five generations, which is lovely, but it also doesn't highlight particularly the champions. They will be shown with a CH in front of them for show champion. If those are a foreign, it'll have the initials of the country that they represent. So it might have RUS champion um, or Serbian champion. It, you know, it'll have the, the initials there of the country that the dog is a champion in. Um, then we go on to the five generation enhanced pedigree that you did see earlier, but just give you a second opportunity to have a look at it. Um, what is nice with this one, as I said, is the red highlights the champions. So it just makes it a little bit easier for you to pinpoint um, the aspects of your dog's pedigree where they have those champion lines in them. So thank you so much for listening to this episode of my Chow Chow vlog. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments. Or, as always, you can find me on any of these social media accounts and I can ask your questions there too. Thank you and bye-bye.